What is going on everybody? Chris here and welcome back to another self-driving video. And today we are looking at Confusion Corner. This is in Stewart, Florida, and it is a crazy roundabout that has two lanes in it, three exits, and a train track that goes through it with frequent trains going by all the time. You can also have pedestrians that are crossing across the road and across the train tracks, uh, and traffic can exit in many directions. This has, I believe, two exits on this side, there are three exits on this side. There are multiple entrances from each direction. It is just crazy. Uh, and this is actually a waypoint on the map called Confusion Corner, and it does have reviews. Some of the reviews are cars appear from every direction, like a live action Mario Kart level, and somehow it works. With another review saying, this is perhaps the worst intersection of all time. And you know what that means. That means we have to send Tessa's full self-driving version 14.2.2.2 through <laughs> Confusion Corner, Chaos Corner, Crazy Corner, <laughs> multiple times, and see if Tesla's full self-driving can handle it. Now, I will say, I actually did go through another roundabout with train tracks going through it that was very similar to this. It was not this exact same one, but it was a roundabout with train tracks going through it, and I was the first car when a train came by. And believe it or not, FSD handled it great. I was very excited about that. I'll just throw that video maybe at the end of this one. Um, if I feel like we need a little more uh, action in this video, I'll just put that clip at the end if you wanna see it. But uh, for now, we wanna go through this as many times as we can and see if FSD is gonna get tripped up by this crazy roundabout. And I will tell you, I've, had, I've driven through it uh, once or twice on this trip already, and I have driven through it in the past. Man, it's hard to see to the right there. The sun is really bright. And it is very, this is very confusing. There are yield signs like once you get in the roundabout, sometimes you need to yield to people that are coming into it, I think. I'm not even sure. Um, I know that one time I think someone was supposed to yield for us, and they just kept going. <laughs> and so we were in the roundabout on train tracks. And this person kind of cut us off, but we didn't have a choice because they had cut us off. So that is just a normal little roundabout that we just went through to get over to Confusion Corner. For some reason, the Tesla navigation totally changed the route I had set, and it was going to take this really weird roundabout way. So I'm just going to skip ahead to the point where we're going into Confusion Corner. That person was not supposed to do that. They are being honked at, but uh, they did it. And now would be the time to go. So let's do it. What are you waiting for? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's already messing up. There, we'll give it a give it a little tap there, a little report, because it definitely should have taken that gap. I don't know what this thing is waiting for. You're already uh, freaking me out here, not doing a good job. Oh, you're doing a U-turn. I thought it was turning left. Oh, you're not even going to fit here. You are going to fit here. Okay, good job. You did it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was short. Sorry, in Michigan, we don't really have u-turns like that like we're not really supposed to do that so when i'm in a place with u-turns i get a little confused all right here we go so warning of pedestrians walking in the next mile that light was blinking like where are you supposed to go right here it looks like we're going straight into the, <laughs> the middle okay so there you go we went over the train tracks into the roundabout oh man i don't know if you can hear that just ignore that that's that's no big deal no no big deal okay and we made it through the first time that it actually went through it it did correctly get through there. So now, hopefully this will continue to follow uh, my nav correctly. There we go, the way it was supposed to. So this actually could go all the way around the roundabout, nice. This is a little mini roundabout in downtown. And go back through Confusion Corner, where everybody's getting confused. Oh, this is the other thing. This thing has a stop sign. <laughs> So from this direction, going through the roundabout, you actually have a stop sign first. That's not very common. You don't normally have roundabouts where stop signs are involved. But I guess there's traffic from the left could go straight across here and we would have to wait for them. I, I, yeah, so there you go. So that car went straight. So we're, we have a stop sign. We have to wait for all the straight traffic to get through. And as soon as we're able, then we can go straight into the roundabout. That just does not seem like a great idea. I think they should have routed the traffic a different way. So now you should be creeping up. I, I, guys, I'm gonna be honest, I don't exactly know. Like, is it doing the wrong thing right now? It's really hard to tell. <laughs> it's really hard to tell. 
I feel like I'm gonna be honked at here, but I have nowhere to go. There's cars coming from left and right. All right, now we should definitely move up. I'm gonna tap the accelerator. I don't know if I should though. Oh, okay, there, there goes that guy. Good thing I didn't tap it too much. <laughs> this is really confusing. Like who thought this was a good, okay, it's going. Hey, look at that. I shouldn't have touched anything. Don't doubt the FSD. Oh, now we're yielding again. Oh, we have a yield sign here. So are we in the roundabout or are we next to it? What is this? That is wild. So we had a stop sign and that person's coming from, whoa. So we had a stop sign. We finally got through that. Then we had to yield. We had a yield sign after that. That is craziness. That is craziness. All right, let me take over here. I'm gonna route us through that thing a couple more times. So give me one second um, and I will start over again. All right, before we get started, I wanna show you what I have set up here because this is basically what I saw last time. We're gonna turn right, 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 but then we're gonna go through it and then we're gonna go back through it and then we're gonna go through it and then we're gonna go back through it. So when I set it up last time, it was gonna go through this roundabout over and over again and something about the nav changed after I started driving. Not the first time I've seen that and kind of annoying, not for any practicality purposes, but for full self-driving testing. So let's let it get out of this parallel parking spot, plenty of room here, so shouldn't be an issue, um, and go back through there. So we have one more car coming here. Oh, several more cars coming here. Never mind. This place is just, it's like busy enough. This is the perfect amount of busy because if you have too many people, it's just gridlocked and there's not much movement and it's not that crazy. If there's nobody, of course, that's not fun either. But this medium amount of traffic where like there's people you, that are getting in your way, but there's gaps that you could take, but maybe, but maybe you shouldn't. That is exactly what I want for this FSD testing because it makes it a lot more variable and a lot more difficult than just like gridlock where you can't move or anything like that. All right, so hard to see this right just because the parked cars, but no big deal. And here we go. We're approaching Confusion Corner again in the new year. And with the new year brings new data brokers that are stealing your information. But thanks to today's sponsor, Delete Me, using my link down below, join deletemecom slash dirty Tesla to save 20%. You can get your information removed from these data brokers. Data brokers are collecting your name, your address, your phone number, your where you work, your family members, all kinds of crazy personal information about you, and they are selling it. And you do not I'm so confused. I want that to happen as you're going through Confusion Corner. And Delete Me will, so, wow, confidence here. Survey these websites for you. Get your information deleted. Okay, that was beautiful. So going through the other direction seems a lot harder. Oh, we're gonna wait for these pedestrians? No, we're not. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna, uh, and <laughs> sorry, Delete Me. Um, and Delete Me will get your information deleted over and over again, no matter how much these data brokers are trying to collect your information and sell it, Delete Me will continue to delete it for you, scouring the internet because these data brokers don't stop. New data brokers pop up, they keep collecting your information. And I personally have been using Delete Me for over two years and I've seen my information disappear from these websites. So highly recommended for me that you check out Delete Me using that link below and save 20%. Thank you so much to Delete Me for sponsoring Confusion Corner. Oh, I should have let it go in here, this is crazy. Okay, well, it is doing it, so nice. Okay, see, it was gonna route not going through there, but thankfully it is now gonna go through there. This is a, a little spot, a tight little spot here in the parking lot. Handling that good, handling that well. Oh, nice, can you go this way? This seems like a one way and I shouldn't be driving this way. There are no signs, but I'm just guessing because of the way the cars are parked. Okay, well, I'll take it, whatever, that's fine. <laughs> That's all good. Nice, so we'll turn left, we'll take this little downtown roundabout. Oh my gosh, that sun is so bright. I've been getting a lot on this version, a lot of the little, you know, the special windshield cleaning that only the new Model Y does? I've been getting a lot of those um, on this version, with or without sun, so I'm not sure what's up with that, but it's really, maybe I need to clean on that glass again, that would be kind of unfortunate, but. Just something I've noticed. All right, we're back to this stop sign. So this, I think, is the for sure the hardest part about this thing, because we stopped, but to the right, did they have a stop sign too? They do, they do have a stop sign to the right. So it's our turn. Okay, much better this time. I think last time the Tesla did get confused, but what's hard, oh, people are honking at each other, is people coming from the left don't have a stop sign. Oh, we almost went with that person there. People coming from the left don't have a stop sign. This is not correct. I don't think we were supposed to go this way. Let's see what it does now. Okay, that's weird. Well, okay, well, I mean, whatever, it handled it. <gasps> it's gonna go through again automatically. 
I love you navigation data mess up. That makes everything so much easier for me. You can just keep doing difficult stuff without me changing it. Oh, wow, it's really ignoring the nav. What is happening with this? Um, so at that stop sign, to the right, they have a stop sign. To the left, they don't. So it's it's confusion corner. I don't know what to tell you. It's really difficult. Um, all right, well, we'll let it get through this all on its own. We're in chill? Oh my gosh. Let's put it into hurry and see if that changes anything. Oh, it made it go slow. Oh no, it sees these people approaching the crosswalk. Very nice. So we'll put it into hurry and see if uh, in hurry it will do a better job going through confusion corner. All right, we're going through this roundabout and ooh, a little tiny, tiny little brake pump there. Tiny little brake pump. And I've changed the route so that we will go all the way around Confusion Corner now. So finally, this is very difficult to even navigate. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing something silly. I'm just making, you know, a self-driving car go through a silly little intersection. But uh, it, it's difficult to get it to go where I want through this weird roundabout because I don't even know where the, you know, the lanes are coming in or going out or whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go all the way around it to this exit and then we'll uh, go through another direction as well. But uh, that doesn't make sense to me. Okay, that guy was going a little slow. Maybe we were avoiding that guy. So they can turn left here before the roundabout, but you can also go around the roundabout to go left on a different street. Why? Do we have a yield sign there? Oh my goodness. We're not supposed to stop for that guy. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, it was it was a little short, but it, did, it didn't stop. It didn't stop. It was being very cautious, like we were going to get cut off by that guy. Okay, so we exit, and then we're going to go straight here. Okay, I mean, it, it handled that really well. It handled that really well. It went a little too slow, I think, with the approaching Model Y. Uh, but besides that, and then they have a... There's two stop signs from that... <laughs> this is the weirdest thing ever. This is such a weird setup. Alrighty, so waiting for some pedestrians here. Very nice on that. We'll go through this little easy downtown roundabout thing. And we'll go back. Oh my goodness, look how backed up it is. What is happening here? <laughs> um, I, again, I think this is by far the hardest way to use this thing. Is You got the stop sign, and then after that you have a yield sign right after. Um, so I think that is, this is the most difficult approach. So this has kind of been the most fun. Um, but we have approached it, I think, from every... Oh, we haven't come from that direction yet, so... Yeah, so they're turning right there. And look at, like, that's not even close to a stop. That guy, like, accelerated through that stop sign. <laughs> oh, it's so backed up. Oh, buddy. What? There's a guy who just, like, squeezed through two cars? He's going the wrong way in the roundabout. I swear he just went the wrong way in the roundabout. What? No, there's no way you're supposed to be able to go that direction. What is going? No, you are. Look at that. There's a sign right there that is two arrows pointing like this. <laughs> okay, so we're at the stop sign. Now we should go. Like we stopped and we should kind of merge. We should kind of blend in. This is where FSD struggles a little bit because it doesn't want to like, like come together with other cars. It wants to like have its turn all by itself. Um, okay, there you go. Nice job. So that other car did wait long enough for us to kind of squeeze in here. What if I change this to like right here right now? Could we then, yeah, okay, this is what I want. I want to do what that other car just did. Oh my goodness. Okay, I see what he did. Yeah, he went around the roundabout, but I thought he was going the wrong way in the roundabout. That's what it seemed like. So now we move up to the yield. We weren't even at the yield yet. And once this car passes, we can move into the roundabout, exit out the left side. Wow. We're stopping. Don't wait. Oh, we have a yield here. This is what I'm talking about. We're yielding to traffic and we're in the roundabout. What is happening? That is just not right. And this turn signal is all kinds of goofy. I get why it's on because we're exiting right here. Oh my dude, guys, come on. What is this thing? Well, this thing is crazy. Whoa, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh my goodness, all right, it did park me, but what was the wiggling about? <laughs> oh, I'm stressing this thing out, guys, I'm stressing it out. All right, let's do like one or two more. This is just too fun. And look at this perfect setup. I don't even need to change anything there. I'm just gonna click go, and it's gonna take me back through Confusion Corner. So there are cars approaching that we need to wait for behind us. You can see them in the blind spot camera. There you go. What are you doing with the steering wheel? Okay, let's get that under control here. Why is it so congested right now? 
I guess it's kind of rush hour. That's why I came down at this time. I was hoping for there to be some crazy traffic. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna hope somebody lets us in. You know, FSD always lets people in, but will the humans let FSD in? They will, thank you. So they gave us a nice wave. Wow, they were very excited about that wave. They must really like Tesla. <laughs> and I should have done this. <laughs> that would have been a lot better. Next time I'll do that. So, all right, let's get back here. We're gonna go through the mini roundabout in downtown and then confusion roundabout, the hard one. And you know what we gotta do. We gotta make it go back through what we just did, where we hit one stop sign and two yield signs in a single roundabout. No, th yeah, one stop sign, two yield signs in a single roundabout. And here's some congestion in this roundabout as well. Maybe I'm causing all this congestion because I just keep going through this stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so, but here we go. We're gonna do this again Nobody is stopping at that stop sign like nobody stops there They just drive right through that right turn. Okay, so we're at our stop sign now I'm gonna roll this window down just a little bit because as we were approaching this I just heard honking and Honking and honking as everybody what is happening in front of me? look at the <laughs> Look at the mess in front of me and like I again I think FSD is correct for staying here because people can drive straight through here. They can come out of the roundabout right in front of us. And so we'd be blocking them if we didn't wait back here. But how does the car even know to do that? There's no way, like my first time here, that I would stop there. Cause I wouldn't think people would be driving like this car right here, this Toyota. I wouldn't even like realize that that was a path people could take. I'm not gonna touch anything. I kind of regret even hitting the accelerator that time I did. Cause I'm thinking FSD probably saw something that I didn't. The other problem here is the people to the right at that stop sign are not really taking their turn with me because they have more openings than I do. I have less openings because of the people that can go straight there. Yeah, so now I think FSD is being too timid. But again, you can't wait up there. There we go. Now it's, it's moving forward. It gets too scared when somebody comes around that roundabout. I'm about to hit it here. All right, let's give it a tap. I'm giving it a tap. I'm pushing it up because it just waited too long for, for my taste there. And now we're at the first yield. So we had a stop sign, now we're at the first yield. And this one, there's a, a lot less to contend with. You only have the people in the roundabout that you have to deal with. Whereas before you have the people in the roundabout and next to the roundabout that could interfere with you at that stop sign. Oh, there's just so many cars. There you go. Okay, it took that immediately. That was really nice. Now we have our next yield. This is the yield that's inside of the, whoa, whoa, it should not have gone there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. I mean, it did it. It made it work, but that was sketchy. That was real sketchy. And it's, there should be a yield inside a roundabout, okay? I'm in the roundabout. I should have the right of way. I don't know what's up with that. All right, let's, one more, one more. We got to try one more and then we'll call it. All right, so our backup in this roundabout is all gone. Let's see our final attempt here at Confusion Corner. Man, this just gets so backed up. It's so hard to get through this stop sign. I'm gonna do my best. Oh, people are honking again. Uh, I have not been honked at, to be fair. Uh, so I'm gonna throw that out there. <laughs> FSD has not been honked at. I'm gonna do my best not to press the accelerator this time, but I do think that my last accelerator press was pretty appropriate. It's just, the car was simply, the, the thing is, is people come from the left and most of them are going around the roundabout. So those aren't interfering with us, but at any moment, those ones coming around the roundabout can actually, I didn't move my hand down here, sorry. People coming around the roundabout are mostly going this way, away from us. Some of them though can come like this, straight in front of us, and FSD doesn't seem to like know which ones to take. And then, like I said, our other problem is the people that are to the right of us, which right now there's nobody, they're not taking their turn with us. They're just hitting the stop sign and moving through. And FSD has its own spot here on the left, like it's taking, oh, nice. Okay, so it's doing it this time. Oh, and that, that yeah, we need to go straight this time. So we don't wanna move to the left. Oh my goodness, what a crazy thing. Do not stop on tracks. So we made it through there and you got people turning left. What a crazy thing, that was, that was fun. Um, Overall, I think FSD did really good. We did pull out some goofiness. Um, yeah, we definitely pulled out some goofiness there. And I did tap the accelerator twice. I think one of them I'm, I'm less sure that I needed to, but the second one for sure I had to do. Uh, but overall, I feel like it did, it did really well. This guy's waving me on. And we'll move through there. And that's it.
we'll call it. All right, hope you enjoyed. You will see me in FSD in the next video.